So Halloween's over, and this Halloween, I discovered one of my new favourite things. Mr. Kipling's Terrifying Toffee Whirls. The reason I got so attached to the Terrifying Toffee Whirl is because they're really nice. I'm a big fan of toffee and a big fan of shortcake, and this is a light shortcake swirl filled with toffee flavour, buttercream, and toffee sauce. And that feels like one of the things that's just made for me. But as you can see here, that's Halloween packaging. And it's not Halloween anymore, so I'm assuming they'll change the packaging, so I need to find what the packaging has become, you know? What they've changed it to, because a toffee whirl... I imagine they just changed it to Mr. Kipling's Toffee Whirls. Because a toffee, like, toffee is a very autumny thing and a very Halloween-y thing. But it's not exclusive to Halloween. You could have toffee anytime. You could have toffee, toffee anytime, anywhere. So I need to, like, find what they become now. But it turns out they don't become anything after Halloween. They just get scrapped and, and no more. And that's not good. Because I only discovered these near the end of Halloween. And I went into my Sainsbury's local yesterday. And they're gone. And I want them back. So when I was doing my research into what the terrifying toffee world would become, I discovered they do make other similar worlds. Just none of them are toffee. They make a venice whirl, a gingerbread whirl, a lemon whirl, and a chocolate orange whirl. So the only other ones that they make regularly, uh, during holidays and not during holidays, is the venice whirl. So I went out to see if I could get a venice whirl, just to see if it is better or even as good as the toffee whirl. So these are a light shortcake swirl filled with fruity raspberry jam and a smooth cream filling and apparently they are nation's favourite. Will it be my favourite? Yeah, that's not funny. See, very similar to how the toffee whirl looks and um, let's try a bit. They're okay. And the issue with that is the terrifying toffee whirl was good. Maybe even great. So I need to find out how I can get in contact with Mr. Kipling to let him know how much I love the toffee whirl and how there will be riots in the street if he doesn't bring it back. So the first thing I see is there's a contact us on the website for Mr. Kipling. So, let's see. Right. Great, we're gonna get in contact. Uh, I am a consumer? A few moments later. Product name. How can we help you? Okay. Now I've got to craft the perfect message to really t show Mr. Kipling how I feel about the terrifying toffee worlds. piece written out. Okay, let's move on to the next bit. Uh, supporting documents, photos, etc. If you have any supporting documents, e.g. photos, please, up please upload them here. Um, what can I get a photo of? I know, I'll get a photo of me looking sad. Of me looking sad with an empty box of terrifying toffee. Balls. Okay, there we go. Now they've got a face to the campaign. Okay, let's upload these pictures. Which one which one looks the which one looks the best? Has the most emotion to it. Um pink. Pink pink. This one? Well I'll I'll upload all of them. Dear Mr. Kipling, Lewis West here, a big fan of Mr. Kipling and his case. I wanted to inquire about the terrifying toffee whirls that were sold this Halloween. I am a huge fan of the terrifying toffee whirls and I'm sad to see them go now Halloween is over. I was trying to find if they were rebranded for non-holiday sales so I could continue to purchase them. 
but it seems that the terrifying toffee worlds as a whole are an exclusive to Halloween. So I'm writing this to propose a question. Can the terrifying toffee worlds be brought back and continue on? Is there any hope for me to get my toffee, Mr. Kipling, fix? Please, Mr. Kipling, have a heart. Save the toffee world. Attached is a picture of me looking sad because all I have is an empty box of terrifying toffee worlds. From Lewis. Now, I'm really hoping that this will this will persuade Mr. Kipling because I'm a customer. I'm willing to spend money. This is just money for him to keep selling these. That's money back into his pocket. That's profit, that is. Right, submit. Thank you for filling out the form. Your response has been recorded and we will be in touch soon. Okay. And now we wait. So we have a reply. Let me let me read this. Hi Lewis. Apologies for the delay in our response to your email asking if we can make our Mr. Kipling terrifying toffee wells all year round. Thank you for contacting us. We're always pleased to hear of ideas and we've passed your suggestion on to our Mr. Kipling Cakes marketing and research and development teams for their attention. Thanks once again for your suggestion. We do value your support and hope we can continue to do so. Best wishes, Mr. Kipling. So that's good. But I don't, I don't think that's enough. So where's like, where's like the headquarters? Hang on. So the Mr. Kipling Bakery is a, uh, it's in Stoke-on-Trent. And we're off boys. The revolution starts now with these three gentlemen and Jack behind the camera. Bonk! Save the toffee world! Anyone? Save the toffee world! And I really like them and want them to stay on after Halloween. So, so we've driven them an hour. To uh, to uh, just 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 because we're so passionate, squat. you know what I mean. I just feel like people need to know about the toffee well. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's hard work, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a hug. <laughs> we got a hug for the toffee well. Save the toffee well. Save the toffee well. Save the toffee well. Save the toffee well. Honk for the Toffee Whirl! I love Toffee Whirls! Honk! Anyone? Honk! Toffee Whirls! Toffee Whirls! Save the Toffee Whirl! Save the Toffee Whirl! Oh honk! Honk as well! Save the Toffee Whirl! Save the Toffee Whirl! I just really like Toffee! Save the Toffee Whirl! Hello, save the Toffee Whirl! Save the Toffee Whirl. Yeah. They make terrifying Toffee Whirls, but they're a Halloween exclusive. Save the Toffee Whirl. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way! Is that... Is that what? Left. Are those Toffee Whirls? Toffee Whirls, mate. Toffee. Thank you! <laughs> Save the Toffee oh, Whirl! Yes. We did it! We saved the Toffee Whirl! <laughs> <laughs> this is Pog. There's one missing, but it's Pog. That's fine. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> there he goes. Oh no, he dropped them. <laughs> Did you just drop them? I dropped two of them. Oh, that's fine. Anyone wants them? I'll have the one I want. He dropped. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
So, we did it. We've received terrifying toffee whirls. Genuinely, this is a glorious moment. I went out there not expecting much. I've got an email from Mr. Kipling now. And terrifying toffee whirls straight from the source. I guess all that's left to do is, you know, f f finish it. I can't. This could be my last terrifying toffee world for a while, you know. Because, you know, they just said they passed on. We just got these, you know, from the source. But they never said they were going to continue to make them. Huh. I know. I saw a lot of cherries in the bakery the other day, and I asked Mr. Kipling what they were for. To put on top of my new cherry bakewells, of course, he said. Traditional bakewell mixture and fondant icing. And one of those juicy cherries on the top. Rather Moorish, don't you think? They are, very. But then Mr. Kipling always does make exceedingly good cakes. <laughs>